What's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. So I don't know about you guys, but the last few months have been so busy because right now, especially if you're in university or college or anything like that, it's exam season. We have exams right now and assignments and due dates, all of that to worry about. So it's been so hectic. But still, in all this hecticness, I did want to sit down and talk to you guys about some of my spring favorites. I know that we're in the middle of April right now, but I did want to share them with you now, even though it's still spring. These are some of my beauty faves, fashion faves, even like music, books, anything like that that I've been really loving this season. So I really hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned if you want to see what I've been loving for spring. So to kick off my beauty favorites, I've definitely been experimenting with like a lot of different eyeshadows and my favorite palette to use has been the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Guys, I know I'm so late with this, like everybody and their mother has been using this already. But what I love about it is just that it blends really well. The colors are really nice, especially for spring. Like these pinks and oranges are like perfect for right now. There's not much else I can say with this. You can create so many different looks with it and I already have a few makeup tutorials where I've been using this palette if you do want to check those out. So if you are feeling down to go bold with pinks and oranges and everything like that for spring, then definitely try this palette out you're gonna love it and it blends like a dream and I'm not joking when I say that but otherwise I've been loving really neutral looks like my favorite look to do is just this like bronzy gold kind of eye and my favorite thing to use is actually a bronzer so this is a physicians formula glow pearls and it is in the shade light bronze pearl but what I love is that it has a little bit of shimmer and gold in it I swirl in my brush and then I apply it to my eyelids and it gives me this really like glowy look which I really like for spring because you want to look more tan right after we've been looking pale the whole winter if you guys feel me so to go with like the glowy eyes I kind of like having the glowy skin as well this highlighter is so beautiful it's such a beautiful color it has a little bit of like neutral undertones with a little bit of pink in it and my favorite part about this highlighter other than the fact that the pigment is great and it gives you a beautiful highlight and glow I just love that it's cheap but if you guys do want to go for a cheaper good quality highlighter then the elf moonlight pearls is definitely one that I will recommend for you I'm so ecstatic the winter is finally over but it did leave me behind some pretty brutal scars and I'm talking about my lips my lips have actually been drier than the Sahara Desert and I've been needing to nourish them so there are three products that I've really been loving for the last few weeks that I have been able to kind of like get rid of all the scaliness and dryness going on in my lips because my lips have been like a freaking crocodile I am not joking so step one of my lip care what I've been loving to do is using another product from elf and this is the elf lip exfoliator and I love that it actually looks like a lipstick which is pretty awesome it's such cute packaging and it smells so good too it has like vanilla and chocolate flavors and scents in it and it has little pieces of like sand or grains or whatever so whenever you go in with your lips in the morning I just love to exfoliate them and it really takes off all those like little flakies of dry skin on your lips and right after I use that my lips are already feeling softer but to keep them moisturized I've been using the Shea lip butter this is from Bath and Body Works but it's this little tub of Shea butter and obviously it smells like Shea butter which is a really great scent and I've been through so much of this and I know some people find it unhygienic to put your finger in lip balm but I just make sure that my hands are always clean whenever I do this so I just get a little bit on my finger warm it up and then apply that to my lips and it always keeps them like so moisturized and plump for a really long time I don't have to apply this too many times in the day and the smell oh it smells so good after they've been deflaked and hydrated and moisturized I like to apply a little bit of a tint what I've been really loving to use to give me a little bit of tint is this MAC lip pencil and pretty much it's just this little chubby stick it's called the patent polish lip pencil in the shade clever it's my favorite it's so smooth but it's so pigmented that it actually lasts you for a very long time it screws out which makes your life so much easier because who wants to sit there and sharpen pencils all the time which I really love and otherwise this also smells like oh, it smells like a dream so moving on to skincare there have been products that have been unreal in changing the skin game for me because I've been breaking out and had irritated skin the whole winter so now I'm finally getting my skin clear and I'm getting it like glowy and smooth the way I finally want it looking and it's honestly all to these products no joke so I'm gonna share the first one with you after taking off my makeup the face wash that I started using lately and I've been loving so much it's called the Alba Botanica acne dote and it's the deep pore wash which is oil free and it says that it fights breakouts even after your rinse no joke guys this has been like a holy grail face cleanser for me this acne wash has definitely passed the test on so many levels and it's also a really big bottle which tends to last me a really long time I don't think it's a drugstore brand I did buy this off of Amazon for like 15 bucks the best part about this is that all these ingredients are natural there's no parabens no synthetic fragrances and it's 100% vegetarian ingredients what's really great about this wash otherwise is the fact that it says that it fights breakouts even after you rinse which I truly feel because one it has 2% salicylic acid in it which is great for drying up those pimples overnight but when you apply this to your face and wash it off it has this peppermint extract in it which smells amazing but it also gives you this whole like tingly sensation on your face so it actually feels like it's doing something which is great so I totally recommend that you guys check out this cleanser if you're looking for one because it's all natural and guys all natural is obviously the best which is always what I preach to everybody this next product is like my holy grail 
face moisturizer serum primer I'm not even joking I've heard on Pinterest that people have replaced their moisturizers for an oil and it's grapeseed oil it's 100% pure grapeseed oil this one specifically is from the company now solutions you can find it at any health store and I'm pretty sure that you could even find it in regular grocery stores but I love this oil so much it's unscented and it's pretty thick but what I love about this oil is that it's non comedogenic it does not clog your pores it does not break you out and I know over 80% of people who said that they did not suffer a single breakout from this oil and all the moisturizers I've tried drugstore high-end brands. They've all broken me out in like little white bumps and hives and like bad pimples whiteheads It was disgusting and this has been such a great moisturizer Which has been essential in my face routine after I wash my face I just put a few drops of this in my hand and I tend to warm it up And then I just like literally pat it into my skin and I tend to focus on my eyes on my lashes It's really good for hair growth as well people say so I just kind of put that in especially in areas where I have dry spots And it soaks in so quickly that my skin becomes supple my skin is not oily at all and I don't wash off this oil. I go to sleep with it. I wake up after I wash my face I put this on in the morning as well If there's anything that you should try out in this entire video and you're looking for a new moisturizer Pick this up at a health food store They have the big bottles and I just bought the small one to try it And I'm glad I did because it's been over a month and I've only used about this much because you only use a couple dots of this on your face And guys comment down below if you've heard about this before if you'd like to try this on your face I would really love to know but otherwise I'll link it down below if you guys can't find it And I recommend this brand because I already tried it out. It's my first fashion favorite of this month. I've definitely been these glasses which if you follow me on Instagram you have definitely seen me wear all the time I have so many posts with these glasses already but pretty much this is from the company Fermu and they contacted me and they said that they have a bunch of glasses that I can choose from and they'll send me a free frame which I was like okay why not I like free stuff so I chose these frames I don't remember the model number right now but I will post it down below and I love them so much I feel like they're so retro and they are clear I don't have prescription but people have been wearing glasses for style lately and oh yeah they gave me a link and they said if you guys want a free pair of glasses just like I got I'm gonna post the link down below there's no catch literally it's just a free pair of glasses that you guys can choose as I said in my spring haul video there are two fashion trends for the springtime that I've really been loving and the first one is off the shoulder tops and if you have seen my spring haul I'll link it up there I've been loving off the shoulder tops so much I did order a couple more from online stores which I'll be sure to film a lookbook with very soon once it gets a little bit warmer outside that I can actually wear these clothes that I've been getting but I love the whole off the shoulder trend because it's the whole trend of the 90s that's been coming back no joke me and my sisters have like seven and ten years apart I used to like go in their closet and steal all those kind of shirts from them and the other trend that I've really been loving for the springtime is like stripes especially like blue and white that's probably my ideal favorite stripes I'm just into like stylish athletic comfort wear I've been loving sneakers so much these sneakers are from urban they only cost me like 30 bucks they were so cheap but I love that they're really light and they're kind of like a netted mesh material so they're very thin let some air through so you don't get too hot especially now that it's getting warmer outside but when I bought these sneakers the laces were originally the color of the shoe so they like matched I was like why would anybody design a shoe like that so I went to Payless and just picked up some black laces and laced them up on these shoes and they look so much better now so these ones are definitely a great way to style a lot of different outfits and make them comfortable this next obsession of mine is kind of random but if you guys are book lovers then these are for you and these are two books that I've really been loving the last few weeks I read through them so quickly pretty much they're called the best kind of broken and perfect kind of trouble this one is the first this one's the second and they're by the author Chelsea Fine I love her like I love the way she writes she writes with such wit and she's so funny and like I really related to the characters so if I'm looking at the cover I don't know they actually look like so sappy and romantic but I'm not joking like these are really good storylines but what I love about this one is just the storyline it's about two people who used to have a past that we don't know about until later on in the book over the summer they're both working at the same hotel slash in over the summer break and they're actually both dorming there so they're both living down the hall from each other but there's like a lot of tension which we don't understand why until later on if you guys do like best kind of broken then after this one you can read perfect kind of trouble it's about two different characters which are friends with the characters from this book it's kind of like all interconnected but it's definitely a good series that you guys should check out the author is amazing and I will link down her books down below so there's one more favorite that I wanted to share with you guys and as you know I love music and Spotify is probably my favorite app for music not probably is my favorite app for music my favorite playlist on Spotify right now is called tropical morning and it actually has the best mix of all of my favorite tracks I'm talking like mainstream old school like everything like that this playlist is really awesome because it just has a bunch of like happy 
good vibe songs, especially for the season. That's obviously what I want to wake up to in the morning. So I really recommend you guys try that out if you want like a good pop dancey playlist. That is definitely my favorite and it's called Tropical Morning. Okay guys, so those are all of the things that I've really been loving for spring so far and I really want you to try it out. I'll link everything down below. If there's anything specific that you want to try out, let me know. Also comment down below what your favorite spring essentials are and your favorites for this last few weeks. I would really love to know that. And if you are new and you don't already know, hi, my name is Haley. It is so nice to meet you. I would really love it if you subscribe. It would would make me so 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 happy be sure to join our awesome fam and turn on the notification bell if you want to get notified every time i post a new weekly video there's nothing else to say i love all of these things and thank you guys so much for watching i love you forever and always and i'll be sure to see you in my next video next week bye baby girl you stay on my mind fulfill my fantasy tell me how you feel i think about you all the time you see it in my dreams